Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about testing the context API. And again, I have pretty good news for you because also this is pretty easy um, because essentially all you have to do is wrap your app component in your context provider. So I'll you, I will show you that in a minute. But um, before that, I'd like to make a point that is also very important uh, within like the, uh, the testing realm, if you like is that you do not want to test React or other libraries itself. So when I'm talking about testing context, the, the context API, I'm not actually testing if the context API is working. You know, you should rely on that React itself is has already, you know, has their tests in place to make sure that uh, doesn't break. So this is something you generally speaking don't want to test yourself but of course, it's a good thing to um, test if you are using it properly, right? And that's what we're going to do right now. So I have the same app uh, as before. So where we could uh, transfer uh, transfer the amounts and uh, you can, of course, find this uh, starter code in the description. Now, before we use this, we, um, we had a use state hook where we then set the account balance and deducted the transfer amount of it. But now instead of that, we actually dispatch an action with a type of decrease account balance with the payload of the transfer amount, which will uh, use the account context I created. So if we go right here, account context, here you see we have our um, balance uh, defined in the initial state. And this context is then given to our app component uh, through the provider and we use it right here. So we pick the balance from the uh, state that's living in our context. So that is uh, uh, in short how it works. So let's actually go to our test, which is right here. So um, this is the same test we used in um, the video about uh, testing user uh, uh, interactions. Now, of course, if I would run this test, so I would say npm test, this will fill. And I said, of course, but it might not be very obvious to some of you because if I scroll all the way up, uh, you'll see it says cannot read property balance of undefined. And the reason this is happening is that in our test now we are only rendering our app component, but we did not render the provider. So of course, if we what's running right here in our browser is actually our index.js file that's being um, rendered and that then wraps the app component within the account provider, but that's not happening in our test. So to make this work, all we have to do is um, put our account provider right here. And then we can put our app component inside of there. And now when I save it and I scroll all the way down, you will see that our app will pass. So very simple, um, but yet very good to know that this is uh, how React testing library works. So. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.